What's good ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Survival Let's Play episode. And it wouldn't be a Minecraft Survival Let's Play episode if I wasn't jumping into my giant dome pit of storagey goodness and check it out guys. We've actually been very, very busy off camera. I went ahead and moved every single item into this little storage area, even the diamonds and check it out. We got 43 diamonds right now. We are balling. And this is also from a little mining expedition that we did off camera. 10 more diamonds that we need to go ahead and fortune up like I said I've been busy off camera not only doing storage stuff smelting some stuff and building some stuff I mean check it out we got a little uh, egg farm we went ahead and at attached it to the chicken cooker automatic chicken cooker the eggs basically just feed into that chest right there so we get eggs along with our cooked chicken and feathers and that thing has been going on strong as you guys can see we have a bunch of freaking chickens in there check it out we got some sheepies in a pen too I got the uh, green dye on them and I also have the cyan color dye because we need both we need both of these colors for the basically the carpet uh, we got to use the green for the lighting situation we got going on right here with all the torch spam then if you hop on top of our base right here you can see I actually went ahead and placed cyan uh, carpet on top of all of the glowstone over here uh, instead of the white carpet that we had on there and I feel like it just makes it look really cool gives it a little bit more color makes it pop a little bit more and check it out this is the railroad station that we left unfinished that we built entirely off camera to be honest and left unfinished for quite a while but I went ahead and just filled it in with some diorite uh, you know polished off the top with some glass and like I said guys I've just been doing a bunch of little tiny things off camera to go ahead and finish up some of these unfinished projects that we have as you can see our feather farm is doing very well I'm trying to think of everything that I did off camera uh, oh yeah we did have a little thunderstorm and we ended up having a four horsemen of the apocalypse pop up in our world so we went ahead and took care of those guys I'll go ahead and put some footage overlaying the screen because I did record that it's super cool but check it out um, they're not that great of horses to be honest but I mean they're freaking skeleton horses check it out dude we look super cool oh yeah so I also did a bunch in the iron farm so and this is a whole bunch of boring stuff I mean it's it's not really something that I wanted to put in today's episode it's just honestly it's just too item sorters I mean if I was making an episode I'd do these off camera anyways uh, one of them this one is the one with iron and then this one is the one with hoppies so now hoppies go to the right which right here we have red dye for days now that's probably all I'm gonna be using those for ba boom and like I said I have been doing a little bit of work off camera but I've also been doing a little bit of AFKing after I built this iron farm and check it out almost a chest full of iron so this thing is definitely working uh, far better than I was intending it to to be honest and last but not least another little thing that I did off camera uh, I've been kind of slowly building out this pipe just because the red dye was kind of taking a while to get but now that we have all those poppies and everything it's all good but check it out I built out the tube we left this little opening right here and I want to build a little dock right here in today's episode and I have a really really cool idea for a dock but we're gonna go get go get into that in a minute but check it out I went ahead and built out the piping and it just drops down into the water right here and we're gonna be doing something really really cool underwater right here uh, not in today's episode probably but in another episode but I think it's really cool in the future we're gonna get some slime bo blocks right here so when you walk up you're gonna boing and hop out and it's going to automatically propel you into the water. So I think that's going to be really cool. So sorry for all the talking, but I have been doing a bunch of little tiny projects off camera. And they're all just like a bunch of little, they're, they're like almost like little chores that I have to do. Like I have to finish up all these little loose ends that we have in this base. Uh, one of them being this bee farm right here. Well, I've gotten a couple comments saying that this bee farm is just floating right here. Okay. And I get it. All right, it's just what it's, it was naturally spawned right here. I get it, I, I placed the blocks right there. Now I need to move it, right? All right, so the first thing on our list is going to be lighting now. So let's think about this. We place a torch, then a carpet. Place a torch, then a carpet. Torch, carpet, torch, carpet, torch, carpet. So eventually our whole base is now, instead of littered uh, with torches, is going to be littered with uh, torches and carpet. Now, I don't know about you guys. I don't really like the way that this looks. I don't like the way that the single carpet on the ground randomly looks. So what I like to do 
And uh, this may uh, go over well, this may not go over well. Uh, what I like to do is to just add, just add a little bit more carpet. Just to make it kind of look like, you know what, we can even put another torch right there. And that one could be a single carpet because it looks like it goes with that one. And it just makes it look a little less, <laughs> I don't know. A little less planned I guess kind of just adds another little element of detail and then what you can do after that is just come through of course with some bone meal of course maybe knock out some of those grass blocks uh, maybe some of these tall ones right here maybe some of the flowers and then yeah you know it's still lighting it's just a little less planned so that's my plan for the lighting in this little area just get it looking a little more uh, less torch spammy, I guess we could say, but I don't know. I, I, I guess that looks pretty natural in my opinion. I like the way that looks. So we're going to go ahead and knock this out pretty quick because I want to get this lighting done and over with so we can get into some of the better stuff in this episode. So one, two, three. Oh gosh. Okay. And we have skeletons shooting at us and check it out. Now I didn't get all the torches out of place. Of course, this is going to be one of those long projects that probably span over multiple episodes. Uh, just like putting in the torches, taking out the torches takes a while, but check it out, guys. Look at how awesome this is turning out. I'm really happy with the way this looks. Now, like I said, I went ahead and did some patches to where there are multiples uh, of the carpet, and then I went ahead and left some single. As we went out right here, I kind of got lazy with it. I uh, went ahead and just singled them out, but over here you can see there are multiples of carpets, and it just makes it, the ground look a little bit more raised, a little more random, and it just looks really cool as you're walking through it. Now, like I said, there are going to eventually be roads that come out here, and then next to those roads are going to be other other lighting fixtures and other things that cause light so we might even end up taking some of these out but hey they look cool it's like a temporary project just like the torches I mean they're only temporary so next we are going to be working on the uh, flower farm I actually wanted to put a little flower farm in this base and uh, it's only gonna be for the two high flowers all right so I haven't done any research on flower farms or anything like that but uh, I think I think I have a pretty good concept in mind. I don't know. It's probably already been done before, like many things uh, in Minecraft. But I don't know. Let me know if you guys have ever seen this before. Now, all it's going to be is a dispenser hooked up to a hopper clock. So I don't expect anything crazy. But I'm thinking about building it right out here. Now, I did say that I wanted this to be a little garden area just because it looks really, really cool. And I don't know, I think we might go ahead and build it on the outside right here. But what I'm thinking is we just have an observer right there. That makes an observer clock, right? Yeah. So if we put a dispenser, so that's just going to continuously go off. Okay, cool. Good to know. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this has definitely been done before, but if we have a little setup like this, we should be able to get a sticky piston in right here, right here. And then whenever that pushes up, that'll create a little clock that just continuously dispenses this, right? And then if there was a too tall flower right here uh, in front of this, hold on, on camera stuff. Ooh, it's off center. So now every single time this is powered, Oh yeah, we're probably only going to build uh, three of these with the sunflower, lilac, and then, uh, what's the other one? No, huh, they're called peonies. Yeah, these things. So for this little design to work, we need to have a hopper sitting right here. And on top of that hopper, we're going to place a rail. So we can place a minecart with hopper. And then after that, we can go ahead and break the rail. It'll be... Uh, somewhere, yeah, in there. And I guess we could probably just cover that back up. So let's go ahead and place something like that. And now we need to go ahead and place a normal piston up here. And then we're going to basically push this grass block down into the minecart hopper. And what that should do is basically make them, you know, uh, occupying the same block, uh, which allows for the minecart the hopper minecart to pick up whatever items fall on top of this block. All right, after much fiddling around with uh, redstone, I am happy 
to announce that we are finally done with the automatic flower farms or die farms whatever you want to call them i had to go ahead and switch around the hopper clock so the sticky piston is on this side shooting up uh just so you know the the redstone wiring is a little more compact or whatever you want to say uh, but let's go ahead and go down here and check it out so we have all the redstone right here i left it open just so you guys could take a look at it uh, check, check out everything you know what I'm saying get a better view of how this thing works so when you hit the lever this redstone block goes down it powers this redstone which then powers this block which then turns off this redstone torch which then depowers this block which then depowers this redstone which then powers this redstone torch which then powers this red this block which then powers this piston which then shoots up with the observer and then creates an observer clock right so yeah kind of a mouthful but <laughs> once again if you want to just take a look at the redstone it's pretty simple to build um, there's probably a way simpler way to build this uh, I don't know I'm just I'm just kind of going with the flow uh, I thought this would be a pretty cool uh, way to use the observer clock oh yeah it's working baby that's nice and then the uh, minecart is picking up everything which is picking up uh, well picking up all the flowers and sending them off into the chest if you guys remember we pushed the block into the minecart hopper just so it's in the same block as the grass block you know what I'm saying so boom 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 all right you guys check it out here it is this little area is now nature-fied and i feel like it came out really really cool i mean we didn't end up putting any picnic area things in here but it's still like a cool little nature zone of our base which we were really really needing because you know like i was saying i don't want our futuristic civilization to totally neglect nature we need nature to survive so uh, we definitely put in some little bushes everywhere with the lighting with the carpet and all that good stuff we also got a custom tree in here that's right i did not grow one from a sapling i actually took the time and built one and it's a little wonky but you know it's my first custom tree really ever so there you go there it is also got a little rock formation up in here with some buttons and some stones they don't really do anything and of course the main little component of this area is this awesome flower farm that we have that constantly racks up sunflowers lilacs and peonies whenever we need this is just a nice little nature area where we can just come relax and i guess just watch iron golems die and <laughs> I guess if that's what you're into, just kind of sit here and relax in nature and just <laughs> watch iron golems die. Anyway, so the next project we have on our list is this dang bee farm right here. It's been a nuisance. It's been an eyesore. It's, trying, it's kind of just been chilling. I think if I'm not mistaken, we can just break it. Oh, no, no, no. We need a campfire. All right, so I'm pretty sure all the bees are in there. And if we put a campfire underneath... And the smoke oh why'd they come out are they supposed to come out okay they're in there now okay so i think now we can silk touch boom and ta-da there you go no more bee nests no more bee farming wow that looks really weird to be honest i'm so used to that being there that i don't know even though it was like an awkward thing in the middle of the dome it was kind of like Ah, I guess I just got used to it, huh? All right, so bee farm. Where are we going to put the bee farm? I've been thinking about this for a while now, and I don't really know what else I would use this little entryway arch for. Uh, and the only reason why I put it here is because we have this chicken farm right here. Check it out, guys. Does this spot look familiar? This is the exact spot that we spawned in on this world, and I always like to mark out the little block by, uh, you know, mining the blocks around it, putting a little bl grass block on it but right over here uh, we have a what is this called a bee nest so we're gonna go ahead and collect this one up as well and I think that there are a couple more around here let's go ahead and pick this up so like I said I still want this area to be open I want this area to where you can come out here and then look at out on we're gonna have like a retaining wall like a balcony you can kind of look over here and then there'll be the, like like this little bee farm area right here and I think I'm gonna build it right here facing uh in towards the base so whenever you are are like walking past here you could kind of see the bees popping out and everything like that but i'm gonna go ahead and get to building this might take a while because i've never really messed 
with bees all that much and so I don't know I'm pretty excited to see how it's gonna turn out all right guys so check it out I went ahead and just built it off camera because I went through about three or four different designs before I finally settled on one and I didn't look I didn't look up any videos or nothing I was all doing it off the top of my head which is probably why it took so long but we finally finally got it guys it is a honeycomb farm and a honey bottle farm so we already got some honeycomb because we set off this little uh, redstone mechanism basically uh, it just compares the signal out of this bee nest and then uh, once the bee nest has a signal strength of five it loops it into this block which uh, sends it into a repeater and then uh, you know it dispenses out a shear and then once that happens it uh, this is right this is where the bee nest is right on top of this hopper it'll drop down into the hopper and then link up and go into the chest so really really easy design really simple design and I went ahead and did the same exact thing for the honey bottles, but I haven't set off the honey bottles yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. Now that should have given us a honey bottle in here. Perfect. Works every single time. So now hopefully the bees come out. I haven't seen the bees yet. And I'm wondering if they can even come out because of that too high flower. I'm wondering if it's like actually blocking anything. I really hope not. And I really hope they don't come out the side right here. There's still a lot of testing to be done with this design but while that testing is going on I guess I'll go ahead and show you right here I went ahead and built a little retaining wall as well oh yeah that's gonna look real nice all right guys and here it is we went ahead and beautified the place up we are really becoming one with nature this episode uh, we're just going and putting bushes all over the place as well as bone meal but let's go ahead and hop out over here and check out what this looks like now I haven't gone past the little area right here that much as you guys can see we still have a whole bunch of torch spam oh yeah it's definitely coming along and since i'm up here i could go ahead and see over here too and oh yeah i really like the direction that we're going with these green carpets kind of spammed around the place and little blotches along with the tall grass everywhere it's giving it a more it's giving it a little bit more depth and it's making it feel a little more alive like i said this base was looking a little barren before and man i really like those cyan carpets you know what leave in the comments do you guys like the white carpet on top or cyan carpet on top better I really want to know that, but I'm going to go ahead and beautify this area up a little bit more. But our next project and final project today that I want to get finished is a little dock area. And I know, guys, we've been doing a bunch of little tiny, I don't know, just like little contraptions in this episode. And I really like it. All right, you guys. So I went ahead and built the redstone mechanism off camera and again this uh, little dock area was inspired by a cold crafter YouTube so thank you so much for the suggestion but this little thing is kind of based off of Ethos Labs very first video on his channel he's showcasing a little automatic boat dispenser so I wanted to kind of replicate the idea of that so I went ahead and messed around uh, it took me like an hour to try to come up with this I suck with uh, with uh, redstone but uh, but here we go so when we hit this uh, lever it's gonna send this piston down with ha which has two honey blocks on it so yeah we're actually using honey blocks how about that <laughs> which sends this redstone block down it dispenses out a boat and it also uh, pushes out this soul sand so the boat can shoot up on top of the water and then uh, this is just a little collection area for when we're done with the boat we can just ram it in here and uh oh, oh be careful not to get stuck at the cactus but anyway let's go ahead and hit this lever right here see it working Boom, and it pops up. And then whenever the boat, uh, you know, is on top of the water, basically, you just flick this back off. Boom. And everything returns to normal. And then you have a boat. So then you get in the boat. Uh, do, 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 do. Boom. There you go. And it's all good. And it gets, uh, it gets collected in these hoppers and just gets put right back into the dispenser. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep on building out this little dock area. And as you guys can see, I'm going for like a weird little sideways dock. I've never built... Uh, diagonal like this uh, so we're gonna find out yeah this is looking weird
Man, oh man, did we get a bunch of stuff done in today's episode. I hope you guys liked it, man. I really do hope you guys liked it. We went ahead and we, we are taking care of the lighting situation here at the base, which is really good because I'm getting kind of tired of torches everywhere. We went ahead and built a beautiful flower farm along with a beautiful little garden nature area, which looks amazing in my opinion. And we took care of that bee nest in the center of the dome and went ahead and built a really nice honeycomb farm and honey bottle farm along with naturifying that area up. And of course, we have this epic dock uh, suggested to us by Cole Crafter YouTube. So uh, unfortunately, you know, that's all the time that I have for today. And it was a very long one, guys. So if you guys made it to the end of the video, go ahead and leave a like. Leave a comment as well. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, guys, I'm out. Peace.